What is up everybody, my name is Jerry, you're watching Nevada Performance and today we're going to be doing a little bit of things to the Altima. Um, we're going to start ripping out some of the interior stuff like uh, wiring and uh, AC and all that. We don't need that and we don't. We are going to be dumping some trash eventually so I want to have, go ahead and get all the crap out that I don't need in there or I'm not selling to just be dumped out here. So we'll take care of that. Um, so most of all, it's just going to be like engine wiring and stuff like that. Just pulling connectors off, pulling out the wiring harness, stuff like that. So um, after that, um, um, I'm probably going to just junk the wiring harness and then I'm going to pull the motor out eventually and the transmission out as well and uh, sell that whole combination. And if I can't sell it, then I'll just freaking send it to the junkyard. So anyways, um, let's get started. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and blow up the toolbox. I already know I'm gonna need some of the basic stuff, like 10 mil. Um, I'm gonna use a small ratchet right now. And I'll go ahead and get a 10 mil out. A 12, and a 14. These are the three main sizes that I'll probably need in here. So I'm just gonna go in here and just take out all the computer shit. If you have a question on how to take out this uh, engine computer, pretty much on the side, or right here, there's a clip right in the top. You push in the clip, you move this out, and it pulls the whole thing out. Wiring harness. Same thing with this one. It's that one. And one last one down here. There it is. If you want it, 20 bucks. Ah, that's on there tight. Well, this thing's in the way. Let's take this off. It's that one. This one. So there's actually <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, and six. Seven. Seven holding this whole bracket on. Alright. Some of the rest of this wiring is impeding me from getting the rest done. So, this is the negative. Break that off. I got one thing down here. There's a bolt behind the air box. Take out this bolt and you can move the air box around. Okay, there's that. There's another one down here. And that should free it up. Alright, so I'm going to stick this down here and sneak it down to that bolt. And then break it loose. We'll just take all of this right here, not through these, and then if we want to persuade some things, we can use this. Oh yeah, by the way guys, uh, the interior is pretty much stripped 100%, um, for the most part actually. Uh, I just have a bunch of crap in here because I've had it in here for a year. Um, so yeah. Excuse me. Raunchy. Alright guys, so I've done a few things. I pulled out all this. I uh, was starting to clean it out a little bit and just give me room to do some other stuff. Got out those tires and then got out the uh, part of the AC unit. Alright, so you got your caps for your Freon. They, they have an inlet and an exit in and out and then they charge the system and all that well the whole system's compressed at the moment and all i really have to do is take this cap off and then put this in there hold your breath by the way <sighs> i hate ants just being all over my car and this is good for the most part put that cap back on
And this is a random bug right there. Oh, you you fly? Get out of here. Get out of here. Anyways, um, so released, we released air out of the lines, and now I can disconnect them. So, let's check this one too. This one might have some in it. So, like I said, there's an in and out, and this is one of them. Alright, that one's empty. This one's empty. There's a 10 mil on the top, so I can start disconnecting the AC lines. Now, I'm running in circles, doing a lot of different things all at once, but I kind of have to with the way that this process is. In all those places, that would be ideal. Mm. I'm glad I released the arrow then. Ugh. Look at that Freon. Dude, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Bruh. I need to get this ground off this plate. This is a, uh, this was part of the um, battery tray. This is gonna come out. Boom, there it is. So I'm gonna keep all these fuses because I need them for my car. And there's a bunch of other like little relays and shit like that in the hair that uh, might be useful. So I'll keep that. All right, guys. I just ate some McDonald's. My belly's full. And thanks for Joe getting the uh, the food. Joe's the boss. He's one of my homies. I mean, I live with him, so it's pretty cool. Look at these, these freaking flies and shit. Bugs, big old bugs, like wasp and bees. We need to get rid of these trees, bro. Anyways, I can't concentrate when these things are flying around my head. <laughs> Anyways, here we are. Um, we got some of the wiring, pretty much most of the wiring off the top of the motor. It's going to be awesome. Let's get back at it. So hopefully I don't get any like bugs crawling all on my sweet tea. So annoying. These bugs just like flying past my face like Ew. But and my also my uh, memory's starting to go out so we gotta take more spurts of breaks and stuff like that. You you'll be able to see like more progress being made every so often rather than like a consistent like a little bit. You know, bolt by bolt. No, now it's gonna be like bracket by bracket. So let's do it that way. All right, I got the car jacked up. I've already pulled out some of the wiring and stuff like that. The main fuse box up front. Um, all this wiring is sitting here for the moment because I'm about to drain the radiator and uh, all the fluid out of the car. Uh, not the oil, but all the rest of the stuff I'm gonna be draining out. Um, hopefully, I can catch it all on this. Um, coolant and freeze coolant and bottle um no guarantees but i'm gonna try my best yo for this there it is well, i found the drain after i pulled all this out it was going to get nasty either way. Alright, let's take this. About to run out of battery in my GoPro. Just cut these lines. I know those are the oil lines. Dude, yeah. is that it? Dude, yeah. Yeah, dude. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. No. Watch this kill, though, bro. Alright. Do you do see this. the fucking princess right here? The princess? Right, I'm jumping out. Oh, I fucked up. <laughs> but I am out. He's out. If you don't get a kill within the next 30 seconds. Alright. Guys, he wasn't even playing. <laughs> it counts. Alright, see you in a minute. Alright everybody, so 
we're coming out here to the Altima. This thing is jacked up. Um, I've been doing a lot of different things today. For the most part, I've been working on uh, wiring and all that, um, pulling that out. Well, we're pretty much almost done with that, so I went ahead and moved on to getting the front clip off. We got that off with the radiator and the um, compressor. Uh, for the AC compressor and all that stuff. Oh, AC, sorry, I can't think, I've been so tired. The whole front end is basically off with the AC and the coolant um, radiator. Anyways, uh, so now we are on to getting the axles out um, after we had gotten all the rest of the stuff out of there, uh, emptied all the fluids and stuff, other than the oil and the engine, I wanna keep that in there. Um, I swear these bugs have been bothering me all day too. Look. Get away, dude. Go. Anyways, so I just took off the uh, tie rod and so I could get this uh, axle out and I have to undo these two bolts here to get the top of the knuckle off of the uh, coilover. And uh, now, all we have left is, um, well, not not very much. I mean, pull these out, then we get the axle out, and then do the same thing to the other side, you know, and then get that axle out. And once we get both axles out, this whole thing could drop the whole subframe. But what I'm actually thinking about doing, instead of just dropping the whole subframe, I'm thinking about getting the, mo uh, the engine hoist, pulling the motor out and the trans out at the same time just plop drop on the ground so um or put it in the bed of the truck and just send it off that's the plan i think i'm going to do that instead and uh yeah it will keep me from having to take this off i mean there's it's a lot harder if i have to do all that crap i just rather do it all at one go so i'm gonna go ahead and get the axles out so that's prepared and this thing will be ready to be out and like as soon as we get an engine hoist here, we can pull it out in an hour. So it's only a few bolts and stuff like that holding the whole motor and trans in. And um, anyways, the reason why I'm using my vlogging camera is because my GoPro died, my phone died, and it's out of uh, storage. So this is the only thing that's left. Um, I pulled the uh, exhaust off. I pulled the fans out. It's exhaust, that exhaust is huge. I'm gonna have to cut it down. Um, I got the coolant reservoir. Um, my hands are like all eaten up from like fluids and stuff. Uh, yeah, not very much left on here. Um, before long, as soon as we get the front end all cleaned up and emptied out, um, then we are gonna work on the rear end and uh, we're gonna get this subframe. This is the 350Z subframe and it's gonna go into the rear end of this. Um, we're gonna take everything off this rear end and just basically make the mounts to mount this up to that car and then take that subframe out and this will replace that. So we have to find the center line of the wheel. We also have to find the the wheel base and uh, the track width and make sure it's completely squared. And at that point, then we can make our mounts and it has to be steel. So we can make our mounts out of plates, plate metal, or sheet metal, really thick, and then just you know, geometry, simple geometry, make that, uh, you know, all squared up, weld it up, and then make my bolts go through. And as soon as that's done, I can mount up my wheels and everything like that, put this, uh, put the differential inside there, and then at that point, I can measure up how far I want the motor to be. And uh, so, once all that's done with the subframe, I can measure if I can basically use a stock 350Z um, drive shaft. It's not that big of a deal if I can't, but I want to try to use it. So that way if I ever get an aftermarket drive shaft, I can. And uh, that'd be good so that like I don't have to get custom drive shafts if I keep breaking them and stuff like that. Um, same with like, the reason why I did 350Z is because the axles can hold it and hold up to the torque and everything. And also I can get aftermarket support stuff for this. That's why I went with usable parts from like OEM and this is also all aluminum so it's really lightweight and then from drive shaft up I got to measure 
the engine and trans together, so that means I gotta get the Collins adapter and make sure I get the lengths. Get away from here, dude. Um, I gotta get the lengths of the Collins adapter and then I could figure out what the engine's gonna place in the front, cut the firewall, make room for that, make bell, ho bell housing room uh, in the uh, trans tunnel, and then all that crap. It's a lot, and it's a quick process that I'm trying to do it in. Like, I'm trying to do this in a time frame, and if I can do it between now and January, that would be ideal. Um, it's possible, and I'm just gonna keep throwing money at it. Right now, I haven't really thrown any money on it in the past month or so, so we're just really just taking stuff out, and I'm gonna try to sell the motor and trans, and then I can make, get some money off of that, and I'll go straight to this. So it's paying for itself, um, and I'm just swapping everything out. There's gonna be a lot of fabrication, um, but we'll figure that out along the lines, or down the line. Uh, so, anyways, guys, that's where I'm gonna stop. You already know I'm gonna pull the trans or pull the axles out. That's not anything crazy. Um, you can watch videos on that somewhere else. It's super simple. You just gotta take the tie rod end off and then take the knuckle off of the control arm and or knuckle off of the uh, coil over, and that way you can get enough angle to yank that thing out. So that will conclude um, today's first. Today's the first day we've actually worked on the Altima, like, in its settled place, like, where it could be, you know, worked on. So, here we are, guys. I mean, motor and trans is ready to come out. The axles are coming out right now. Um, everything's ready to be measured up in the rear and mounts be made, and then we can go from the rear to the front and then make our room and then cut the firewall if we need to, and it's all, it's all fun from here, so... It's gonna be great. It's gonna be really fun. It's gonna be a, little, a lot, a long process, and y'all are gonna watch a lot of YouTube, watching my videos of me LS swapping this Altima. So this thing is about to die too, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and log out. Thank, it, thank you guys for watching. I mean, I didn't think I was gonna be uh, 20 years old out of the house and stuff like that. I thought I was gonna be there for like till like 24 and then figure my shit out. Now I'm out of the house. Now I have time to, you know. Uh, you know, figure out what I want to do, and also, this is my goal for right now. Within the next year, this is my goal. If I'm not done within the next year, well, that's not even a question, because it will be. We're already on the process, and we're already halfway through with the front side. Um, and then, after that, it's all rebuilding. So, I'm so excited, I'm so thankful, and uh, I'm blessed to be able to do what I want to do. Um, I just want to let you guys know, that God is looking out for you, God's looking out for me, um, and you know, this process is pretty cool, and it's been kind of hard lately, but it's been worth it. So, I appreciate you guys watching, and um, stay tuned for the videos. Go to Instagram, Nevada Performance, that's N E V A E H underscore performance, and then Project LS Ultima, and also uh, subscribe to this channel. So, anyways, guys. I'm going to see you guys later. Um, I'm going to work on this a little bit more and get this knocked out. And uh, that's about it. So anyways, I appreciate you guys, you watch, you guys watching. And um, let's get it. Peace out. <laughs>